All right, guys. Uh, just in case if some of you were worrying or was wondering what was happening with my machine, well, I'm, I managed to make it work, removing the so-called issue that I had with the software that is now not appearing anymore. Thanks to Madame Vega on the Discord channel, we managed to find some solution. Not quitty service after self service. No, 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 no. It was really on Discord. So, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys that machine works. I'm going to do a calibrate. And uh, I'm going to do a bed mesh. And just to show you how the bed meshing work, that everybody's saying, I'll oh, leave the bed mesh. It's perfect. We need that before each print. And yeah, I understand that we need that. Not before each print, depending what, you know, if you're changing filament or, you know, moving from uh, ABS to ASA to PLA, whatever. Yeah, probably a good bed meshing would be good because you're changing, you know, material. But uh, as per if you're printing fucking PLA and PLA and PLA, why the hell would I have to do a goddamn bed mesh all the time? And Look at the time it takes. It's probing. It's probing. And it will probe. And it will probe, obviously. That's an induction. But if I go on my little shit box, my little stupid KE, and I'm just gonna say calibrate. And it's gonna do is homing. And once the homing is gonna be done, it's gonna bed mesh. Well, that's my bed mesh under my key. And like I'm saying, it's a KE. It's reality. Everybody was complaining about KEs. They have a problem. They have this. Yeah, I did put a lot of fucking money on it. Rail is done. Change the old fan system. Change the odd end. I've got rid of the nebula pad. And yes, I'm working now with... You know, pad 7, so I bypassed the old fucking shit clipper that was on the Creality because obviously they all got them truncated and missing this. So, and this is my bed mesh 255 points in what 15 seconds. And this motherfucker is still going second row or third row. So, why would I do a fucking bed mesh? Every time I print something that takes seven, eight minutes, when I can do it on this shit, that takes me 15 seconds. But once again, I cannot install the beacon on this because the clipper is fucking truncated. So it's impossible to unmodify. We need to go through every goddamn config files and figure it all out. And even if I go on Discord with the Annex that makes beacon, it's gonna be a shit show because a fucking clipper is truncated. This is what the companies are selling us now. A truncated clipper that's built or modified for their own purposes, knowing that we can't modify anything as we want because, uh, you know, the company doesn't want us to do so, kind of. So this is just what I hate. And still, kind of like the machine. I love it. It's a big, freaking bulky fridge. It looks like a beer fridge. And I think it's one of the best machines. It's a good machine. It looks great. And, you know, technically speaking, it has all the bells and whistles. But, uh, yeah, it's shit. And it's still printed, like, in my goddamn sheet. I had a massive fucking problem adjusting my Z offset. Never wanted to stay. I don't know if it's a fucking probe issue or whatsoever. So, yeah. What am I going to do with my... Amazing plus four, kitty, chitty plus four. I have no idea yet. I'm still waiting after the after cell service for the SSR that burned out. Uh, my odd end that I don't have the uh, ceramic odd end, so it's the metal one. Uh, you know, there's all kind of little fucking knickknacks. Plus, the bed eater system that still is not fixed. Not a bed eater, but a chamber eater. Anyhow, that's just my thought for today. I love my little stupid KE. It works like a charm. So, have fun, guys. 
I'll keep in touch.